All right, we're here at CES 2015 at Sony with Eldin. Uh, so, Eldin, tell us about the new uh, update to the Sony Action Cam. All right, so we're really excited with our new uh, uh, X1000 Action Cam. What you can see is it's pretty much the same as the previous Action Cam, same uh, form factor. Uh, also has the same uh, or uh, improved Carl Zeiss lens. Still the uh, Exmor uh, CMOS uh, processor, so really great in low light situations, stereo. But the real big update is it's 4K. So really excited about that. Very good. So in addition to 4K, also really exciting stuff is the uh, high speed, the high frame rate. So can you tell us about the, the sort of top end of the frame rates at the different resolutions? Right. So it can go to, uh, if you're going to be shooting slow motion, you want to be shooting at about uh, 120 frames per second in HD. Uh, it'll do 240 and then it'll scale down to 720. So um, very high resolution for very fast frame rates, which is really exciting, especially in the action sports. Now here in the booth you have a little demo um, of the stabilization, so can you tell us about how it stabilizes the shots? Yeah, and that's one of the things that Sony really has above uh, most other companies that are making cameras, and, and you can see it across our line. Our steady shot uh, starts in the action cam and goes all the way up to our you know, new DSLRs or, or the new mirrorless cameras, in fact, the you know, A7 Mark II. But in this particular camera, as a POV camera, being able to have uh, image stabilization is something that's really key. And when you have a look at the uh, stabilized uh, demo that we have, we have our little shaky shaky table where we have an on and off, uh, you can clearly see how much it actually stabilizes. So, um, you know, going down mountains on your bike or, you know, off-roading or, or even if you're uh, on a, you know, different terrain like snowboarding and that type of thing, it's a, an adaptive uh, stabilization. So the camera is smart enough to know what kind of terrain you're on, what kind of vibrations it's picking up, and then compensate with an exact opposite effect so that it can stabilize. And then the new update on this one is high frequency vibrations. So what's becoming very, very popular is folks that are shooting, uh, putting POV cameras in the action cam onto uh, small little drones like the uh, uh, DJI uh, Phantom, for instance. But those usually create a little bit of issue with most cameras because of the vibration. Um, the, the new cameras have actually been, or the new action cams have been uh, calibrated uh, to counter, you know, for, you know, very smooth, uh, stabilization and to counteract that high vibration frequency. So, high frequency of vibration. <laughs> so uh, you know, looking at it, it looks like it's the exact same form factor as the action cams from Sony have been in the past. So does this mean that people who are upgrading from older Sony action cams will still be able to use all their accessories, that kind of stuff? Yeah, so the, it's a slightly, slightly uh, bigger. It's uh, marginally bigger. It's very hard to notice the size. So the only thing that has changed is the uh, water housing. So the water housing has changed. The button position is higher up versus the you know what we had on the uh, AS10, 15, and 30. But every other uh, housing or, or all the other um, accessories that we have in our lineup will all fit on the uh, uh, X1000. Very good. So this is a really a recent announcement. So when can people find it in stores? How much it'll be? All right. So it's going to sh uh, ship in about a month's time. We're expecting uh, mid-February, and um, it's going to be 4.99. So personal 4K for only 4.99. It's really a good deal. Very good, Eldine, thanks so much. All right, thank you very much.